Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome to The Order 1886. So, this is one of my first PlayStation 4 playthroughs in quite a little while. Uh, I started Bloodborne uh, quite, uh, quite some time ago, and hopefully by the time you guys see this, Bloodborne has already continued, because it's at the time of recording this, I have it on a bit of a hiatus, because I want to continue recording that game once I move into my new apartment, and as of now, I actually haven't started that yet. Um, only because of green screen things, like I, I want a green screen behind me so I can continue doing face cam instead of just cutting face cam altogether, because I really do like face cam for that game. It works quite well. But as for the order, uh, I didn't feel that it would be necessary for this game, just because this is more of a cinematic game, more so than uh, Bloodborne is. Uh, but as for this game, yeah, it's the order. Uh, I didn't pick it up when it first came out because I didn't, I wasn't latching onto the vibe of the game uh, at launch. However, probably a little while ago now, someone actually requested for me to play it. And some requests take me a while because I don't own the game and I won't pick it up until it's cheap. I actually do have a few request games that I'm sitting on right now that I have to get around to playing sometime. But uh, I figured the order would be a good place to start. So, with that in mind, let's jump into it. I did start the very, very beginning of it, just to see how the game looked, how it performed and everything, and uh, it seemed okay. And one last note, everything about this series, about this playthrough, may be a little different. I, my audio setup is quite a bit different than it normally is. I'm using my XLR mic as opposed to my uh, usual USB mic. Uh, I have a new audio USB interface handler here, feeding my volume or my microphone volume, my mic microphone, the my microphone directly into it, and handling the game in another way. But yeah, hopefully it sounds okay. I've done a few tests and it seems seems good, but here's going to be the real tester. Okay, so with that long-winded intro out of the way, let's get started, guys, with The Order 1886, exclusively on the PlayStation 4. Let's get started. I will just save over. Ah, yes. Here we go. Wake up, Fred. Hey. <coughs> Giving up the ghost now, didn't we? Let's see another rant. We're stuck up now, Yeah. 
Sweet dreams, mate. Time for your morning bath, my lord. At this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. <coughs> 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 Well then, that's a beginning. <laughs> you know, and one thing I, I, I do have to mention, the game is very gorgeous. Uh, however, I still do not like the aesthetic choice of creating the giant black bars for the letterboxing effect. I've never liked it. Now, some people argue whether or not it's a good thing to have. Uh, I say no, because... It had it in the uh, the Evil Within on the PS4 and Xbox One versions, and I returned my PS4 version, or sold my PS4 version, and purchased it on PC where I can actually remove it. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Evil Within chose it just purely because it looked good to them. Uh, however, this game, I think, technically needs it in terms of actual technicalities behind the game because it's not running at full 1080p I've heard I don't know if that's true but that is uh, something I've heard but the game is gorgeous it really is cinematic, cinematic looking and it does look very very good and uh, you know it's kind of cool because who knows what the future is going to look like for PS4 and Xbox One hopefully it's even better than this Okay, so this is as far as I played the first time around. So now let's let's escape, I guess. <laughs> Click left. Oh, okay. Don't want to get caught though. <laughs> I already had the piss beat out of me before. Don't want that. Okay. Shh. Be quiet. Oh. Shush. No, 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 hurry up, hurry up. Get it. How many bullets you got in here? Oh, great. Just my luck. Oh, 
<laughs> no kidding. Are those all spent there? They look like they probably are. Okay. Oh, are those teeth? Ew, no! Someone pulled out someone's teeth! Ooh. Probably that guy's. Gross! Okay, can we get out this way? You better do it quick! Quick. Okay, climb up. Go! Oh my god! <laughs> faster, dude! Faster! And one thing I am doing differently with the video, I'm actually doing a little bit more editing behind it instead of just, uh... Editing the audio like I normally do. I'm gonna do a bit of a... Fixing up of the video too, so hopefully make it look at least a little bit better. We'll see though. We'll see. Oh. Oh. What in the world? Whoa, what is that? What in the world? There's freedom. Oh, come on. you go anywhere not a word inside close up oh. <sighs> let's just talk this through shall we <sighs> you're him aren't you the convict everyone's talking about There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's where you are. Gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a no. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. the gut come on oh 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 get out of here mate oh go to sleep Shh. or i'll break his neck that works too oh my god Give yourself up, monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning.
before I can see them. The play is over, Galahad. Surrender yourself. Raise your hands now. Raise your hands. Hands up. Gray. Don't do this. I said surrender. Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! 